through uh, the entire process and advised me that it should have been better to come a statement to receive the necessary attention. Uh, for us who have worked with her, she was always composed, respectful to all the members. Mr. Speaker, she ensured that she was stickler to the parliamentary procedures. We looked upon her most of the time for consultation in terms of what we intended to present before the, the, the House. And uh, Mr. Speaker, I remember whenever you pass around the offices of uh, parliamentary staff, here in Senate, she is always standing, moving from one desk to another, trying to make things in order. So it is shocking that we have lost her. Uh, we have lost an epitome of experience in this house. My condolences to the clerk and the rest of the staff. Mr. Speaker, and I think it is important as a house, and I had brought this attention, that going into the future, I'm not saying our staff are not well catered for, but as a house and uh, through the Parliamentary Service Commission, we must endeavor to ensure the welfare of our staff who work with us are always our top priority alongside ours. I thank you, Mr. Speaker, and Pauline is to the family. Senator Ledama. Mr. Speaker, my deepest condolences to you, the clerk. This clerk table will never be the same again. I remember Maria very well. At any time when I'm in doubt, whenever I need clarity, I would always approach her and I'll ask her and she would be first to be able to guide me correctly. Mr. Speaker, her death reminds me and it ought to remind all of us that we are all passing through. There's a lot that is happening in this country, Mr. Speaker. Families are going through a very hard time. People are falling. And I think it's about time that we ask ourselves what is going on. Today it has hit so close to us. That's why in the entire parliament precinct there is a somber mood. I walked into the secretariat's offices and everyone is sad. We're sad because we have lost someone very close to us. I do hope that for the time that she has served this country, because being here as a clerk, a principal clerk, having started from being a personal assistant, she has learned a lot. And most of us will miss her agility and dedication to service, something that we must learn. Today is a very sad day, and I hope that her family will know that the family here in the Senate, whether we debate vigorously or what, that we condone with them, and that their joy and their tears we share with them. I pray that may God receive her soul and rest it in eternity. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mbona speaker ningependa kuchukua nafasi hii kutoa salamu zangu pamoja na familia yangu na watu wa Tana River za Rambirambi kwa jamaa na marafiki wa familia hii ya Senate sisi tukiwa hapa sisi ni wachache lakini Mwenyezi Mungu kwa mipango yake ametuondolea mmoja wetu katika familia hii uh, saa ingine hatuna majibu kwa maswali manake kuna wale wengine ambao ni wengi zaidi hatusemi angechagua kule lakini ni wengi zaidi kushinda huku lakini Mwenyezi Mungu aliona achukue mmoja wetu tunasema pole kwa sisi sote haswa wale ambao walikuwa wanafanya kazi karibu na ye. pili uh, bwana speaker anatoa pia rambi rambi zangu kwa familia ya makamu wetu wa rais wa zamani mzee Mudi Waori ambayo tulifanya kazi na yeye tunasema pole sana kwa sababu sisi ambao ni wazazi mara nyingi huwa hatuombi na hatutarajii ya kwamba watoto wetu watatu watatembea kwenda mbele ya haki kabla sisi Kwa hivyo tunasema pole sana kwa mzee pole sana kwa familia
poleni sisi sote Mungu atupe nguvu kwa wakati huu mgumu atupatie neema tuweze kupitia wakati huo Asante bwana speaker Senator Sifun Uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker. Let me join the rest of my colleagues uh, in passing my condolences to the family of Velet uh, Maria. Mr. Speaker, every now and then, uh, life will serve as this little reminders that, in fact, life itself is very fickle. Uh, the office of the clerk and uh, our colleagues here will remember that just early this year, we lost another colleague in uh, similar circumstances. That we could be here today with you and uh, the very next day, it is a speaker making that communication about me. And uh, it really raises difficult questions in our minds, Mr. Speaker, on the meaning of all this mean. Sometimes we ask ourselves, why are we even here? And what is our purpose? But that Maria was working in the service of the Senate and in the service of her country until the very last day is testament to her dedication. And uh, we just want to say, Paul, to the family of the late Maria, her colleagues who worked with her, and always remember that indeed this could be our very last day, each one of us, and that tomorrow we could be having this conversation uh, about one of us. It is a very uh, eerie deja vu for me, Mr. Speaker, because uh, people have just been dying when least expected. I remember when we were in Dubai and we lost uh, our, our brother Washington. Uh, it, it didn't seem that anything was uh, wrong with him and so with Maria. So Mr. Speaker, allow me to just pass my gratitude for her service and to pass my condolences once again to say, may the Lord uh, rest her soul in eternal peace. I thank you, Mr. Speaker. Senator Mutinda. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Um, I do pass my condolences to the family of Maria, the husband, the children that uh, she has left. It's indeed quite sad. It's my first time to stand in this house to give condolences because you never know when the door will ring, when the bell will ring. As my Nairobi senator has also mentioned, we lost another colleague a few months ago by the name Wellington in Dubai. Still a colleague and a staff in this Senate. It's quite a very sad state. Uh, it's quite very shocking. But what I'm happy about is the fact that we have good words for Mariam. She was dedicated. She was eloquent. She was good in her roles that she was undertaking. As we continue delivering our services, it is good to ask what will you say about me when one day you'll be talking about me? But because one day we shall all go, one day we shall all live, it is important to always try and make sure whatever opportunity that God has given you to do, always try and do to your best so that you leave a legacy for tomorrow. We continue celebrating Maria, we continue celebrating Wellington because we didn't have an opportunity to celebrate him. And we continue working together with you, the office of the clerk. From the time we came to this parliament, you've always supported the who I am today. I appreciate your office. May God bless you. Thank you. Senator Oburu. Uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker, sir. For the opportunity, Mr. Speaker, I also want to join the voice of uh, my colleagues in uh, passing condolences to this great family, the family of their worries. Uh, Mr. Speaker, uh, I knew this uh, lady. Uh, she was uh, very, very uh, humble. She was very hardworking. She was uh, very simple. And uh, Mr. Speaker, these are the qualities for which their worries are known. She was uh, a replica of her father. Her father loved her dearly. Her mother also loved her dearly. 
And uh, this is a family, Mr. Speaker, with whom we have had very long relationship as a family. Uh, in fact, uh, her grandfather uh, is the one, Konnonawori is the one who baptized uh, me when I was a kid, when I was a, bo a small kid. So, Mr. Speaker, this is a great loss to us as a Senate. It is also a great loss to the family. And uh, Mr. Speaker, we would like to, I would just like to join and ask that the Almighty God rest her soul in great, I mean, in peace. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Senator Wamatinga. Ah, thank you very much, uh, Mr. Speaker. I also like to join my colleagues in passing my message of condolences to you, to the clerk, and indeed to all of us. I may not have interacted with Maria personally, but since we joined uh, the Senate uh, a couple of months ago, the Parliamentary Service Commission have st stood out in one thing. They've held our hands with a lot of kind, kindness to the new, uh, new members, and most importantly, with a very, very humble approach and attitude and a lot of respect. As my colleagues of Senator Sifuna have said, we lost another colleague just a few months ago in Dubai, and it was indeed very, very hard, as it is now, someone who had no signs of any uh, ills or sickness, just like that, passes on, and it is a reminder to us all that we are actually just transiting in this world and it is not our home. And I would want to challenge us all. It is time that we start redefining our relationship with ourselves and most importantly with our maker because definitely this world, as much as it is not our home, we may not know who's next. I therefore want to take this opportunity to play that God gives the family and the colleagues solitude and fortitude to overcome these hard moments. May her soul rest in peace. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Senator Kamar. Uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker, for the opportunity to join you and colleagues in condoling the family of uh, Maria. It's actually so shocking. It's difficult to imagine that Maria is now the late. Very shocking. Mr. Speaker, I have known Maria since I came to the Senate. I have been very fortunate to work closely with her. She was, I think, on the desk of SCP EU, and we traveled to very unique countries with her a very diligent staff, a very respectful staff, a very jovial and happy person, such a beautiful heart, Mr. Speaker. Maria, as uh, Senator Alwale has said, there was no worry in her. She was her, and she, was, she worked like herself, something that all of us in this house would wish our children would be, so that they are not an attachment to their, the legacies of their parents, but they become themselves. Maria, whenever we traveled, was an amazing person. You would not believe that this was a senator and a staff. We were like friends. We, went to very, we were very fortunate to go to very unique countries. I think it was uh, Slovakia, no, Slovenia and uh, Hungary. And when we decided with Maria we were going shopping, we went shopping. And we enjoyed ourselves. The latest was when we went to France last year, the last meeting of the SCPU before we broke uh, out of this house. Uh, uh, thank you, uh, thank you, Speaker, for the one minute. She is just a, 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 a wonderful person. I want to say polo to the family, to the awaris, and uh, to the staff, because she was a friend of everybody. 
I think there's nobody she didn't, whose heart she didn't touch for the staff and, uh, and as a Senate. Le uh, may us all rest in peace. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Senator Kenya, let's keep it two minutes or under, Senators. Uh, asante sana bwana speaker kwa kunipa fursa hii. Nachukua fursa hii kuleta lisara zangu za rambi rambi za familia yangu pamoja na watu wa kutoka Laikipia. Speaker nataka kuungana nawe kusema pole sana kwa familia. Kwa sababu Maria namjua vizuri sana kwa sababu nilipokuwa mburu uliopita nilipokuwa speaker wa muda. Tulifanya naye kazi vizuri kwa karibu na nilimjua kama mtu alie makinika katika kazi yake bwana speaker. Bwana speaker sita sahau ya kwamba uh, Maria aliongea kwa lugha ya Kiingereza akimakinika kabisa bwana speaker. Nakumbuka vizuri bwana speaker kila wakati nilipokuwa pale akija alinieleza kwa sababu ilikuwa mara yangu ya kwanza kuketi katika kicho kiti nilimtegemea yeye sana. Kwa hivyo bwana speaker nakumbuka uh, namkumbuka nikiwa na uchungu bwana speaker kwa kumpoteza yeye. Bwana speaker ni jambo la kuvunja moyo wakati sisi tunaongea hapa kila wakati bwana speaker tukiomboleza ndugu zetu. Bwana speaker nakumbuka nilisimama hapa mara ya kwanza nikimwomboleza mheshimiwa Ben Aluch. Bwana speaker tena nikasimama hapa nikimwomboleza mheshimiwa Senator Kabaka. Bwana speaker tena nakumbuka nikisimama hapa kumwomboleza Wellington. Bwana speaker hivi sasa kwa uchungu tena nasimama kumwomboleza Maria. Bwana speaker pengine hata japokuwa Biblia inasema ya kwamba Mungu hajibu maswali, Mungu anajibu maombi. Lakini bwana speaker sisi kama binadamu tuna uchungu kupotelewa na mmoja wetu ambaye tulifanya naye kazi. Lakini kwa familia nawaambia pole hata japokuwa hiyo ndiyo njia hata sisi ambayo tunangoja tutapitia bwana speaker na tujiulize tu maswali wakati wetu tutakapofika mimi Kenya nitakuwa nimemjua Mwenyezi Mungu kwa njia gani kwa sababu hiyo ndiyo njia na tunangojea Senator Kibona Amida Thank you Mr. Speaker I also rise uh, to condole with the Senate family um, clerk deputy clerk you Mr. Speaker colleagues directors and everyone else Death is inevitable, but how cruel it seems at times. Um, it is unfortunate that we have lost uh, Maria. I used to joke with her, I used to call her Mama, Madam Abuju Buju, and uh, also called her Madam Motion. It's really unfortunate. Uh, and on behalf of Kewasa, Tunasema, say, Paul Esana. Senator Muma and I managed to go to Lee funeral and joined our colleagues. We met the husband and the, and, the hus uh, and the brother. It was very sad the way, you know, the husband narrated. You know, it was just a sudden death. So we say, Pole to the family. And uh, as Muslims, we say, from thee we come from, and from thee we shall return. May her soul rest in peace. Senator Mundigi. Buona speaker. Mimi na... Jimbo Rahembu, tunayende rambirambi zetu, kwa familia, na pia kwa senate, na kwa vanyikazi. Kwa sababu, Maria atunja ugeane sana, mimi, lakini jana, sikubugi ni, ni before saa sita, ama ni jioni, ni kuwa nataka usaindisi wa, wa, wa kirak, lakini wakati nifika pare, ya kanuisa nataka na minagani, nikambia atawo naesa kunisaindia, kwa siri likuwa ni kuhusu, nimesitakiwa na pie wangu. Haka nionesha mtu ingine, tuka, tuka ongea, Leo nilete makaratazi, ndiyo nweze kusaindika, lakini wakati tulikuwa kule nika, nikaona yupisha, nikaona nivire, nile mandamu niliona jana. Kwa hiyo mimi naleta lambirambi zetu, na kwa, kwa kusema ni pole, na pia kifo inatufunza na mnagani. Ati sisi wakati uwote, hata kama umienjianda kuenda kazi, ama kufusaindia, ama kufanya nini, wakati ni uwote, kifo kinaweza kukuja wakati uwote. Kwa hiyo sasa njia kutufunza. Tuwe tiyali wakati wote usiku na mchana, ati tuweza kutoka katika ulimwenguniu. Asante sana, wana speaker. Senator, Senator Faki. Asante mshima speaker, pia kunipa fursa hii. Kujiunga na enzangu, kutoa rambi rambi zetu kwa 
kwako kwa karani wa bunge na kwa familia ya mwenda zake Maria. Mheshimiwa spika kwa hakika ni pigo kubwa sio kwa familia peke yake lakini hata katika bunge hili la Senate kwa sababu Maria ni mmoja kati ya wale wafanyajikazi ambao walikuwa wanafanya kazi zao kwa uangalifu zaidi na kwa, kwa haraka iwapo atahitajika kufanya hivyo kwa haraka nilimjua Maria mheshimiwa spika kutoka mwaka miaka ya 80 alipokuwa tupokuwa wanafunzi katika chuo kikuu cha Nairobi akifanya masomo ya bachelor of arts na mimi nikifanya masomo ya sheria nilipokuja hapa kwa muula wa kwanza nilimpata na baada ya kuzungumza naye tuka tukajuana kwamba kweli tulikuwa mwaka mmoja university mwaka uliokwisha uh, tuliwahi kusafiri na yeye pia kwenda France kwa masuala ya ACPU na kwa hakika mara nyingi katika safari zile huwa ni mtu mwenye usaidizi mkubwa sio tu kwa mambo ya ya kawaida ya ya usaidizi wa, 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 wa protocol lakini hata yale masuala ambayo yanazungumziwa katika mikutano ile mheshimiwa speaker alikuwa na umahiri nayo kwa hivyo ilikuwa kwa ni msaada mkubwa kwa sisi ambao tulikuwa tunashiriki katika mikutano ile mheshimiwa speaker uh, sote eh, ni njia yetu hiyo sisi waislamu tunasema inna lillahi wa inna ilaihi rajiun Mwenyezi Mungu aweke roho yake mahali pema pepone asante senator wafula Asante sana mheshimiwa speaker kwa nafasi hii kwa niaba yangu familia yangu watu wa Bongoma nimeleta rambi rambi kwa familia ya mwenda zake mimi nilimjua kwa sababu alikuwa mama mcheshi mkarimu mpole ambaye hakuwa na majivuno ama kujigamba alikuwa mchapa kazi ambaye alijitolea kwa hali na mali kuhakikisha kwamba mchango wetu katika jumba la senate inahakikiwa na kunakiliwa kwenye kumbukumbu za jumba la senate na kuhakikisha kwamba Kenya inapata haki kwa kipato kidogo kile ambacho wa Kenya wanatozwa vile vile ningependa kupia kutoa rambi rambi kwa familia ya mwenda zake kwa sababu wahenga walisema tunda hili la binti huyu lilianguka kwenye shina la mti na ukiashiria vema unaona taswira ya mheshimiwa Mudi Awori kwamba na nakielelezo kwa wengi wenye tajriba wenye pesa wenye uzoefu wa kisiasa na uzoefu wa kushika mkwanja ama hela kwamba japo hadhi yako ya wazazi katika nchi ya Kenya ni lazima tuwe wa pole tuwe wa karimu tuwe wa chapakazi kama marehemu jinsi alivyojieleza jinsi alivyofanya kazi katika jumba la senate na nikumwombea kwamba safari yake iwe nyepesi na anapofika kule katika mkono wa kuume wa Maulana amwambie tuko safarini kutenda wema kwa aliyo wema na kuwatendea wema wasio wema kwa sababu yote tenda wema nenda zako asante sana mheshimiwa speaker senator crystal asiga Thank you Mr. Speaker. I've been sitting here trying to find the right words because sadness doesn't cover it and um, and shock doesn't cover it Mr. Speaker. I'm still feeling a bit sick to my stomach as I stand actually um, at the idea that Maria is not here. Mr. Speaker, from the very first day I walked into Senate and Parliament in general, Maria was the first person um, that I met, the, one of the first people to call me Senator. Mr. Speaker, she was the one who stood here with me for over an hour, helping me to rehearse before my swearing in. Um, she's the one who was calming my nerves, telling me that I'll do great, you'll do great, Senator, she said. We had an inside joke, actually, that I was one of the few Senators that she's ever seen in her time here that actually said the word conscientiously correctly during oath. Mr. Speaker, um, one of the first workshops that we also had in Mombasa, it was Maria who stood up for me in meetings and said, why don't we ask Senator Asige to chair one of these sessions? And that was the first and the only session that I've ever chaired since being a Senator. It's because of Maria, because she saw me 
out of everybody else. Mr. Speaker, it's just recently, as, as Emil have been um, rearranging their um, co uh, committees, Mr. Speaker, I remember sitting in the Senate lounge and trying to think which committee might I want to, to um, offer myself to. And Maria came and sat down with me and I asked her, what do you think? And she said, Senator, I think that you should try for one of you know, the big ones. Don't be, don't be scared. I think that you'd do great on the speaker's panel. And I said, no. Nah. Don't conclude. Thank you. She said that I would do great on the speaker's panel. She actually, her words were, Senator, I think that you'd kill it. And so I have applied. But Mr. Speaker, my point is that she was extremely encouraging towards me. And um, she saw past the disability and just saw a, a woman, um, somebody who, like her, has humor. Um, we connected on wit and um, just generally in life, she was, um, in my life here so far, she has been extremely encouraging and supportive. And I, if I don't say this directly to her family, I just want to say I'm so sorry to her husband, uh, her, child, her daughter who's in college, and her son who is still in high school. We are so, so sorry for your loss, Asante. Senator Sige. Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. Indeed, it's a sad day. The time I came into the Senate and when we had our first meeting in the Speaker's panel, the person who held my hand and over time has been reaching out is Maria. It is sad that we've lost her. Yesterday, she dropped me a message inviting me to join the rest of the team in the Speaker's panel. I told her I was not going to be available. I didn't know today she wouldn't be no more. And indeed, this world is not our world. I join you, Speaker, and the rest of my colleagues in the Senate to condole with the family, ask God to grant them grace to mourn the loss of Maria. We are all mourning, and we pray that her soul be placed in eternal peace. I thank you, Mr. Speaker. Senator Shakila. Asante Mwishimu Speaker, kwa kunipa na fasi hii, kutoa rambi rambi zangu kwa Maria. Mwishimu Speaker, Maria tulijuana na ye nikiwa bunge kabla kufika hapa Senate. Na tulifanya na ye kazi vizuri sana, tumewai kusafiri na ye. Hata kuna wakati nilipokuwa na pata mjuku wangu wa kwanza, Maria aliwahi kumnulia zawadi nilipokuwa nikimfanyia shopping. Mheshimiwa Speaker, Maria alikuwa ni karani mtaalamu ambaye alikuwa akifanya kazi yake kwa uadilifu sana. Na ni masikitiko kwamba leo hayuko na sisi na alikuwa ni karani ambaye kwamba alikuwa ni msaidizi mkubwa kwa kila mfanyikazi na kwa kila senate. Leo hii hayuko na sisi lakini tunasema sisi Kiislamu Kulu nafsi intadal intadal mauti. Kila nafsi itaonja mauti. Sote binadamu tutakufa kila mtu kwa siku yake. Cha muhimu kwetu sote ni kuhakikisha na kuthibitisha kwamba tunaacha mambo mazuri nyuma baada ya kuondoka kama mwenzetu Maria. Tunavumuongelea kwa uzuri. Sisi wote ni mashahidi wa Maria kwa sababu aliishi na watu vizuri 